Good morning, GMS. I'm Jackson. And I'm Carson. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of January 31st. Remember, wearing masks during school and on the bus is still required. Restrictions have not lifted yet, and we all want to stay safe during these times. Are you interested in softball? The Greenwood Middle School Softball Club will meet in the cafeteria this Wednesday, February 2nd. Don't miss it. Please keep in mind that students with two or more Fs on their semester grades cannot participate in or attend extracurricular activities at GMS. Yearbook prices have increased to $40 so far this year. Get yourself one at yearbookforever.com. There's also a link on the GMS homepage. If you haven't purchased the yearbook yet, what are you waiting for? Please remember, if you're absent or quarantined, keep up with your schoolwork on Canvas. You're still expected to complete the work you miss. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and, ha and the GMS News Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Hi, I'm Izzy from GMS News, and I'm here with five weird and wacky facts you may not have known. Number one. A cloud can weigh more than a million pounds. Number two, a meteor exploded over Earth with the force of 10 atomic bombs and everyone missed it. Number three, a human could swim through a blue whale's veins. Number four, Australia has pink and purple lakes. Number five, bubble wrap was originally intended to be wallpaper. And that concludes our top five weird facts. Have a great week. Welcome to GMS Sports w with your host, Carson. Mo uh, Monday, January 24th, 2022, 8th grade girls basketball at Decatur Middle School at 5.15 p.m. and 7th grade girls basketball versus Decatur Middle School at home at 5.30 p.m. And then Tuesday, January 25th, 2022, boys wrestling at Beach Grove, boys wrestling at Perry Meridian, swimming and diving versus Plainfield Community Middle School, at home at 6.30 p.m. In seventh grade on Wednesdays, um, January 26, 2022, seventh grade boys basketball versus Greenwood Christian Academy at home at 5.30 p.m. And Thursday, January 27, 2022, boys wrestling at Indian Creek at 5.30 p.m., swimming and diving at Martinsville East Middle School at 6.30 p.m., and that's it. That's all, folks. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I am Amaya, here with 8th grade BIT teacher, Mr. Polson. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Question one. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, this is my first year here at Greenwood Middle School. Uh, I came over here from uh, Shelbyville High School. That's my second year in education. I'm a basketball coach over, over at uh, Greenwood High School. And uh, yeah, I'm having a great year time at uh, a great time here at GMS. Question two: How's your first year at GMS going? It's going really well. Um, it's a very welcoming environment. Uh, the students are great, and, and the faculty's great. Question three: What are some things you like to do in your spare time? I love to uh, play basketball, play golf, um, work out, and uh, hang out with my family. Question four: Do you have any pets, and if so, tell us about them. I don't have any pets, but my wife really wants to get a uh, a labradoodle. Question five: What does the IU basketball have to do to make a big run during March Madness? There's a lot of things that they need to do, but uh, a couple things are they need to find consistent guard play, um, need to find some consistency off the bench, and uh, stop getting off to slow starts. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mr. Polson. Have a great week. Thank you. You too. Hello. Welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Alex, and let's get started with number two. Many unusual things have been on the market at virtual stores, but we believe this auction from back in the day takes the cake. In a story that has resurfaced lately, a man from Brisbane, Australia, had attempted to sell the country of New Zealand back in 2006 on eBay. A few interesting things were said in the listing of the selling, such as the dodgiest American Cup win ever and that it had very ordinary weather. You'd assume people would just brush this off as a joke, right? wrong. The selling of New Zealand had gained $3,000 in bids until eBay had the listing removed. 
Recently, someone tried to sell New Zealand on eBay for a second time. Number one, we've all heard of being close with someone, but have you ever thought of sharing a body with them? According to News for Kids, a two-headed turtle was born in Birdsey Cape Wildlife Center, making the twins one of the rarest of the kind. It was born with six legs and two heads, which have their own system for eating and breathing, along with the turtle also having their own respective spine. Usually, conjoined twins do not live very long, but these cute turtles are completely healthy. But for the sake of science, they're keeping it to study. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week!